Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. My illustrious, wonderful family. Welcome, 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 welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. I don't plan on making this video too long. I just want to speak to the human family for a minute. And, um, you know, I look for y'all to leave your comments and your suggestions and just your feelings about the whole matter. Because I can't be the only one. I, I know I'm not the only one. You say I'm crazy. And you don't think I know what you've done. No, but seriously. Um, I'm noticing that a lot of people are having what I call presidential anxiety. Especially those of us who have been severely affected by narcissism. Um, either we are obsessed um, with thinking that this behavior is okay. Or we are probably obsessed with trying to find some kind of peace away from it. And that's, I find myself in the latter uh, mode. Trying to find some type of peace because I know that this guy is mentally ill. I know what we're looking at is some type of severe narcissism, okay? But before I play Amy Goodman uh, and the mental health professionals warn, uh, warn of Donald Trump's increasingly stability, instability, I want to talk about something that really affected me as a child and as an adult. It still has as much power as it did then. It is something that always challenges my thoughts. Something that makes me, um, I guess, uh, well, not lose sight of what mankind is supposed to be like. Um, and that is what what keeps me going is I, I try to think about how Miss Anne Frank must have felt. Yeah, Anne Frank. Because she kept a diary. When her world was closing in on her and they watched as um, Adolf Hitler began to kill them put them into ovens, Auschwitz, and just burn them, um, starve them to death. And there was no way in hell a lot of people could see any good coming out of all of that after what had happened to her. And some of the quotes that she said always stuck in my heart as a young child because to be going through what we're going through right now in terms of being targeted for elimination, it's the same blueprint. Black people are living the same blueprint the Jews in Germany lived and the people sat by and did nothing. I often wonder how could Adolf Hitler put all those people in the ovens and nobody did anything. I mean, didn't they see it happening? Didn't they see the signs? Didn't they see all the things that were leading up to Auschwitz? Didn't they see all the things that were leading up to the gas showers? Yes, they did. But they were complacent. And they did nothing. Just like the people today watching black people getting slaughtered in the streets, watching us being shot down by a police department who who 
who has come out with validation and information that the Ku Klux Klan and white supremacist organizations have infiltrated the police departments. And this is a fact. Just like the K just like the KGB or just like the the soldiers that attacked the Jews and put them in concentration camps. And Frank ended up dying. And she wrote, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I want you to think about that. She said, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. I want to believe that. Um, it's almost like a child is born with a heart of gold, but the way of the world makes his heart so cold. So you can look at that in so many ways. Um, she also said, I must uphold my ideas for perhaps the time will come when I should be able to carry them out. She wasn't. She wasn't. And I guess one of the things that she said that moved me, like, there's, there's certain things I never forgot. Um, think of all the beauty that's left around you, still left around you and be happy. Just think of what's just around you and be happy. Don't even don't don't even focus on nothing else. Sympathy, love, fortune. We all have these qualities, but still tend not to use them. The final forming of a person's character lies in their own hands. Dead people receive more flowers than the living ones because regret is stronger than gratitude. I don't think of all the misery but all the beauty that still remains. She also said something that really kind of got me too. She said, I've learned one thing. You only really get to know a person after a fight. Only then can you judge their true character. I think a lot, but I don't say much. This girl wrote a lot of stuff up in that attic, waiting on her life to end, pretty much. You now, something else she said. She said, nobody ever has become poor by giving. That's true. And for those of y'all who don't know who Anne Frank is, I'm sure a lot of y'all young people aren't familiar if, unless you talked about her. Well, you probably have talked about her in school. But just to see a young girl going through what I believe that black every black person in the United States and probably abroad, but definitely here, that's what I can speak to, is an Anne Frank. 
So all I can say is for my people and people that are nervous, who are full of anxiety, think of all the beauty still left around you and be happy. I don't think of all the misery, but of all the beauty that still remains. See? Now that's the diary of a young girl. A lot of y'all might say that she was jaded and, you know, because at the end, y'all know what happened. But, she says she keep her ideas because in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. Now, out of all that stuff that was happening to them, she still had the ability to say that. She still had the ability to reconcile with that. And I think that is very important for us to figure it out and know that Anne Frank was right. She was right. And in all this going on, I can't believe that just black people have Donald Trump <laughs> anxiety. I don't believe that. I don't believe that all Republicans agree with what Donald Trump is doing. I don't believe that. I don't believe it for one second. So, what it tells me is those of y'all who sit by and do nothing, just like the people of old, silence is consent. And it'll only be a moment and a matter of time before they come for you. That's all you got to know. It'll only be a matter of time before they come for you. All right, with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like, subscribe, and share. Thank you. And leave your comments in the comment section. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.